Noch? Hier vielleicht. So. So hey everyone and welcome to our newest film. It's been a long time since we've made a bicycle touring film and a normal vlog, so to say. But yeah, we've been actually been off our bikes for um, almost three months now because we've been in Nepal, hiking in Nepal. We've been going around India by train. And now, uh, yeah, after spending also a lot of time, Christmas and New Year's uh, in Bangkok, we are now um, finally on our bikes again, leaving Bangkok and heading, cycling through Thailand, heading towards um, the east, towards the border, uh, border with Cambodia. And um, yeah, it's very exciting. We're just cycling out of the city now on bike paths that are actually quite nice along some rivers here and canals. The only thing is, and again now, we have to kind of cross these very high, very steep bridges and uh, it's becoming a bit annoying but otherwise it's pretty nice and it's hot very hot and very humid good to be back in the saddle again uh, especially after such a long break this was actually the longest break we've had so far on this journey and uh, it was a bit hard now this morning to leave all the comforts behind we had the last months but uh, yeah we're also very excited to start this new and actually last big chapter of our journey because yeah we're now going to cycle through Asia and then back to Europe and then at some point in about a year or so <laughs> we want to be back home in Germany uh, yeah that's pretty crazy um, but yeah now we're just looking forward to the next months of cycling through Southeast Asia <laughs> one day and almost 80 kilometers to get out of the urban area around Bangkok we just left the hopefully last biggest uh, bigger road and now it's gonna be smaller roads hopefully until the border to Cambodia and yeah that's 
pretty good because it's always not nice cycling along these huge roads with lots of traffic. Yeah. <laughs> We took our first wrong turn. This seems to be private property. We have to go around, but it's just incredible how you just get off the main roads like for a few kilometers and you're in a different world. It's. Uh... mostly cycling very nice empty paved roads um, but we also found some nice gravel roads on our route which are also like very good surprisingly good um, there's a bit of washboard in the middle but it's great to ride actually and um, another good thing is that uh, it hasn't rained at all since or almost not at all <laughs> since we've been in Thailand which is now almost two months <laughs> even though we haven't been cycling much in that time but yeah that means that also the gravel roads and all the surroundings here are quite dry um, which is much better than muddy <laughs> So there are a lot of tree plantations around here um, for the last, I don't know, 30 kilometers now. And this one here, you can see they're harvesting the, uh, the caoutchouc, the rubber from this plant or tree. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The little thing in here <laughs> where it runs down. guarding the plantation. just cycling through the Khao Ang Wu Nai uh, Wildlife Sanctuary. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, and this is a little wildlife sanctuary here in the east of Thailand uh, on between Bangkok and the border to Cambodia where, um, yeah, you can see different animals. Um, it's mostly famous for um, the Asian elephants. You can see Asian elephants here and we've seen a lot of um, elephant feces but no actual elephant yet and yeah probably not gonna see one it's the middle of the day um, 
but we have seen some monkeys, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> It's already our last full cycling day in Thailand because tomorrow we plan to reach the border to Cambodia and uh, this morning we've been cycling some small dirt roads and now we had to turn back <laughs> because there was a lake that didn't appear on our maps and uh, our planned route went right through the lake so obviously we can't do that and now we got had to turn back and yeah backtracking a few kilometers and then taking a bigger road oh. <laughs> detour at the moment and right now we have the choice between taking uh, the longer way on this paved and uh, slightly bigger road and a small um, dirt road that's going right through the forest which we actually can't really <laughs> see on our planning map but uh, yeah I think we're gonna try it because the other one is a bigger detour and this might actually be quite nice cycling through the forest on a dirt road. All right, let's try it. It's ah, this snow. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. This is. No. Okay, okay. This no? Okay. Okay. What I what I Okay. Cough can care. Okay, okay. Okay. Cough can care. Uh so unfortunately it looks like we can't take this shortcut to the detour either, um because yeah, the guy there just said, yeah, we can't go through. I didn't really understand why, but um, I guess it must have its reasons. So yeah, we're gonna have to take a bigger detour now. <laughs> oh man. stretch to Cambodia. Tomorrow hopefully we will reach the border and the last night in Thailand we are spending in a small motel which is actually quite nice and also very affordable. Um, yeah we just cycled past this and uh, couldn't resist the thought of taking a shower after three very hot and sweaty cycling days and two nights of wild camping. Yeah it's really really nice to now take a shower. <laughs> We now have around 20 kilometers left 
to the Cambodian border and so far this road here is really empty so yeah we're hoping the border is equally empty and the process will go fast and smooth all right so we are almost at the border and of course that not only marks the end of our time cycling here in Thailand but also the end of this video um, but to give a little conclusion um, yeah we really really enjoyed our time here in Thailand not only cycling now the last week and yeah we've only cycled here for one week despite actually being in the country for almost two months but uh, yeah the majority of that time we spent in Bangkok or around Bangkok uh, doing day trips and so on we had a lot of visitors and so on um, but yeah also before even cycling here we already really enjoyed Thailand uh, the people are super friendly some of the friendliest people we've honestly met in the last two and a half years and um, yeah also it's been really easy logistically speaking to cycle here just because um, on every corner you kind of have water even in the more rural areas which are also really nice to cycle um, you can find water and really good food everywhere and yeah last but not least once you kind of get out of the outskirts of Bangkok and the bigger cities then you have just really nice cycling because there's not a lot going on you can camp as well um, fairly easily have hotels if you do need them though and yeah I think to sum it up we can say we'll definitely be back and we really really loved our time here